40 years to put humans beyond low Earth orbit. I'm just making this short video uh, to help maybe clarify the Direct TV 4K installation equipment process for some people. It can be a little bit confusing. I know it took me uh, took me quite a while to sift through things and a few phone calls before I, I got it straightened out. And uh, we'll start off here. The uh, the equipment that they want you to have. You've got to you've got to have the HR fifty four DVR. That's the main unit. And then you've got to have, you've got to order a C61K. It's a, the Mini Genie. It's the 4K Mini Genie. That's kind of the integral part of this whole thing. Uh, right now, as of April 19th of uh, 2017, they're running a special. You can uh, get the equipment. You can get uh, the HR54. Uh, ultra high definition DVR in the 4K Mini Genie, up to three 4K Mini Genies uh, for $49.95. That's just the installation cost. And uh, so that's that's the main reason that I opted for doing it is, is they were running a special right now. Um, at, at this time, they've only, uh, DirecTV only has three channels. Uh, that they're broadcasting uh, ultra high definition 4K on. That's uh, channel 104, 105, 106. Uh, channel 104 is uh, it's kind of your uh, Discovery HD kind of channel. Um, there's everything from travel logs to scientific shows to uh, uh, cooking shows, uh, music videos. It's just you know kind of a potpourri kind of thing like i say it's like like uh years ago the uh, discovery hd theater used to be it's very similar to that so that's that's your channel 104 and uh channel uh, 105 is your pay-per-view um all your latest releases uh direct tv cinema in uh, ultra high definition so that's uh, channel 105 is pay-per-view and 106 at this time is um, live sporting events uh, those seem to come on randomly right now it's it's a day before the next sporting event is going to be broadcast but uh, uh, they've got three channels at this time and uh, there was some controversy about what plan you needed to have but I did uh, my research and you only have to have the select plan is it everything that uh, I was told by calling in and from what I've read online anything with the select or above you you will get the ultra high definition channels at no additional charge I've got the choice um, kind of the middle of the road plan and I get all three channel access to all three channels so basically for the $49.95 you get the equipment and you get the 4k activated for no additional charge whatsoever so I figured why the heck not and uh, you know if if this catches on which I trust it will as many 4k TVs as they're selling now um, I would think that they're only going to be adding more stations in the future and uh, at least this way I'll be ready for it and uh, anyway I'll show you what the equipment looks like here and uh, this is the mini genie that they installed it's a little bit bigger than the old standard mini genies. It's about the size of a uh, about the size of a uh, paperback book, and uh, 
It does not have a connection on the back for uh, Ethernet, but they've got an adapter here. This adapter right here uh, adapts it into a USB port for Ethernet, and uh, then it connects with your receiver via HDMI. In order to go through your, your receiver, you've got to have the HDCP 2.2 enabled uh, receiver. That's the copyright protection scheme or, or firmware. It's, it's got to be HDCP 2.2, which most all of the latest receivers are HDCP 2.2. Otherwise, you've got to run in the HDMI directly from the Mini Genie to the television. And having the Ethernet hooked up allows you to do the 4K on demand, which there are quite a few programs um, 4K on demand. But the regular programming, the three channels that I just mentioned, those have nothing to do with internet streaming. Those come directly off the satellite. You turn onto the channel and it pops right on. There's there's no no uh, data usage or uh, uh, downloading or streaming about it. It comes right off the satellite dish. And by the way, that 4995 also included an upgrade to my satellite dish because my my dish was woefully uh, outdated. And uh, According to the installer and everything that I read online and the people I talked to at DirecTV, uh, the only way to do this is to put the base unit, the DVR unit, has to go in another room. So your Mini Genie is going to go where your 4K television is, where you, where you want your 4K service. Uh, the the mini genie we we ended up putting it in our master bedroom here there's the main the uh, HR 54 unit that's that's in our uh, master bedroom and uh, that unit itself is not capable of 4k the the HDMI coming out of here will not produce 4k kind of curious why you know they did it like that but uh, at any rate this this unit will put out put out uh, uh, 1080p 1080i 720p and uh, but does put out the 4k signal to the mini genie which it will in turn put out to the television so that's the main DVR unit that's the the latest one at this time April 2017 and uh, again this unit along with the three mini genies are basically free at this time with their promotion uh, you just have to pay the 4995 installation fee now um, just to go over it again this this setup here doing it this way this is not a streaming scenario uh, the way I understand it the Ethernet connection to the mini genie here is only for downloads of on demand so you can uh, the three channels channel 104 105 and 106 come directly off the satellite and uh, I think the quality is excellent you know I've got a LG OLED 65 inch TV and uh, basically it upscales any signal but uh and and it all looks good but it really you know is 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 a noticeable improvement the the uh, 4k and uh, let's get the menu up here 
or the guide. You can see here that you've got got the little 4K signal there next to uh, I've, I've rolled back here to uh, to this program that's on so coming up right now on the uh, cin cinema H HD 4k cinema is the hidden figures and then uh, passengers is coming up later and uh, I think it's the 20th or the 21st is that uh, baseball game the Nationals and the Mets coming up and that's about it the main thing you need to remember is that you're gonna have to put your main DVR unit in another room and uh, also the the installer told me you can only uh, hook up one 4k TV per household I, I, and and have a 4k signal to it um, with this setup so in, in our house we have uh, two 1080p uh, televisions in the bedrooms and then this uh, OLED 4k in our uh, rec room so it worked out just fine for us and uh, other than that if you want to run it through your uh, surround sound system if you want to run your uh, HDMI cable in there and have it produce uh, the 4k signal you've got to uh, make sure that it is HDCP 2.2 capable on the copyright scheme and you should be good to go anyway that's it good luck and uh yeah again choice package and above uh i'm not going to receive any additional charges i confirm that backwards and sideways because you know if they were going to sock me with some ridiculous you know 15 or 25 dollar a month fee just to get one channel in 4k there's no way i was going to do it so i i made sure of that before i even uh made the made the call to uh order this and uh it it took our guy about an hour and a half to install it because that was including a, a new dish and routing the new cable in and everything so anyway good luck out there enjoy and uh at this point i recommend it that's uh, if nothing else i've got uh all new equipment in the house new dish new cable new boxes throughout the house and it only cost me 49 bucks 50 bucks so i'm ready for whatever's coming up in the near future have a good one